New questions surfaced tonight about Bridgeport Police Chief Chad Dojak. This time, viewers of WTRF.com are questioning his temper after he erupts on our Dave Elias inside the courthouse. It happened just after a judge sentenced him to home confinement rather than jail time. Dave is in the newsroom tonight and some pretty tense moments during your confrontation with the police chief, Dave. Well, that's right. The chief became extremely combative with me when I tried to get him to answer questions for the residents of Bridgeport. This after Judge John Sullivan sentenced him to 50 days of home confinement rather than the 90 days he was facing in jail. Dojak was also given three years probation and ordered to serve 100 hours of community service. You need to face a very real issue in the village of Bridgeport. That being the lost confidence in your law enforcement skills. If the confidence can't be restored, do the right thing. He was implying that Dojak may have to resign, but will he? Well, I tried to ask him that question, and he became infuriated and even called on me to resign as a reporter. Take a look. Our cameras rolled on it all. Because Why every time I give you an interview, you manage to mess it up and you're about the most arrogant, ignorant news reporter there is, so I'll talk to Channel 9. Okay, thank and, you. And so you don't want to answer the community's questions. Why don't you want to talk with us? Because every time I give you a story, you mess it up. Maybe you should resign because well, you can't we're, do your job. Will you, be re will you be resigning? Excuse me. Will you be resigning? No, Excuse me. I'm not telling you again. Thank you. Okay, I, I have a right to ask questions. I just want to point out that when Chad Dojak told me that every time he gives me a story I get it wrong, well the truth is he's never given me a story. In fact, I've never even met Chad Dojak during my 21 year career until last week after he was found guilty on charges of dereliction of duty. It was then that he addressed the media and gave a statement. I asked him then if he planned on stepping down or resigning. Well, he never answered, so I can only assume that it was that question that, of course, made him very angry. So what do you think of this whole situation? You can log on to our website, WTRF.com, and leave your thoughts. A lot of people already have. In the newsroom, I'm Dave Elias.